This is a Wemos D1 Mini with a Wi Fi 8266. And we're going to use this one and the relay shield. Both of these cost less than ten dollars, maybe six bucks, depends on where you buy. And this one, we need to solder this connector so that it will fit perfectly on top of this. And make sure that the D1 is matching with this D1 when you plug it in. So you can see here the 5 volts matching with the 5 volts on this relay shield. Now we can solder them all in. And we're going to use software. I want to show you how to use software on both Mac to configure this one so that you can open the garage door and close the garage door with your phone. I made my Remo D1 Mini uh, to work with Alexa. There are so many tutorials out there, uh, YouTube video that is so good on setting up these. Uh, so I'm not going to go through it again. The best one I've seen so far is uh, from Innovative Tom, published on April 13, uh, 2017. And you can get it started. Okay, so this one is doing with Windows. So mine is uh, Mojave OS, which is Mac. So it's the same thing. Uh, the app is Arduino, and I use version 1.8. Point seven. Okay, so I'll just download that. The important thing is that you need to have all of these library. Make sure you have all the libraries that uh, Tom was uh, recommended and um, add them all using the add zip file or something like that. And also in the tools, make sure that you get the board manager that include Remos. D1R2 and Mini. The newer version, they call it uh, something else, Lilo or something like that, but still D1 uh, Mini is the one that you want. And also make sure that when you plug in the USB, it have to come up if you have the right driver. For Mac, you need the CH341 SER Mac. All right, and install that, and you will you will see it. Also, you need uh, async TCP master library, and also ESPA sync uh, TCP master dot zip. Also, those are all you need for now to get this working. Just follow the video there. This Alexa and YouTube from Nazir Malik and I had to just go here download it or I'm gonna upload mine I modified it so that it will work with the garage my library and this one is called a laptop Alexa all of these are in there I call it a laptop instead of garage is because I don't want people to go around the house and say Alexa uh, turn on garage so I, I give it some name okay so assuming uh, everything is good you plug it in and so now in my tools I have Wemos D1R2 Mini this one is port and if you check the port you make sure that you can get the board information so it's there. That means that you connect to the correct. Now, when you get my uh, zip file, you open the laptop Alexa. If you want to change the name of laptop instead of turn on laptop, you can say you click inside here. And you can just alternate F, 
and you can choose laptop with uh, Audi A8. Okay, so let's do that. So you're going to replace all and make sure the Wi Fi has the SSID that go to the 2.4 gig. The same with the Echo Dot or the Echo uh, SSID also. It has to be the same. These remotes only connect to 2.4 gig. Assuming everything is done, let's upload. Now, if you click here, Serial Monitor, if it's working, you will see that will connect to your now, sometimes it said that memory problem or something. Just unplug, plug it back in, and redo it, and it will work again. So, so I set it to so that it will connect 30 times. See, so it's connected. And the IP address on this one is 76. Okay, so the laptop Alexa sketch. Relay pin 1 will be D1 on the EMOS and also at the uh, relay shield. So connect those two, D1 to D1. I was going to use the garage sensor, but I didn't. The baud is 115200, so make sure you have it here also, so you can see it. Now, I initialize it too low to make sure, but every time when you access the Alexa, it will turn it on. So, it will toggle the switch, which will open the garage every time you access with the desktop Alexa. So, in order for us not to make a mistake of turning it on and open the garage by mistake, I'm going to make the on is actually turn it off is low. And when we said Turn off laptop, it's actually toggle high and low to open the garage or close the garage to actuate the relay. Instead of turn on garage or turn on laptop to toggle the switch, the relay, we're going to use turn off to make sure that every time we access with the Alexa Amazon.com, it will turn itself on automatically. So you can see it right here, okay? So let's look at this. Um, upload the sketch. Now make sure the SSID is uh, connected to the 2.4 gig and the same SSID for the Echo Dot or Alexa. That's important. So now it's connecting. Okay. So now if you go over here and we're going to discover, right? And you look here, so you see that? It said turn on request. It's actually requested to turn it on by the Alexa. So actually here the laptop is turned off. So now, if we use Alexa to turn it on, so you have to use a mobile app. If I use Alexa, turn on laptop. Okay. So if you look over here, it's actually turned off. So now, if I say, turn off laptop. Okay. So it's actually toggles. Okay. So it's actually turned on. So now we use the off to turn to toggle. Okay. So after we configure the Remos D1 for the Alexa, we make sure 
the Alexa and the Remos hook up to the same Wi-Fi network. So right now I put on guess. And Echo Dot is also on guess. And the same time that we that we go to the Alexa, we click Smart Home. And we check devices. So we're going to forget this one. We're going to discover. So I see it again now. So we're going to go to the mobile and open it up. Okay, so now we discover a one plug. But we want to set up this plug. We want to change it to to light. Okay? So let's do that. Now it's enabled. Turn on Brandon. Okay. Turn off, Brandon. Okay. Turn on, Brandon. Turn on, Brandon. Okay. Okay, so now it's working. So let's turn it off and connect the wire. Okay, now we can start. Turn on, Brandon. Okay. So this is a switch. So we can set the uh, on and off to toggle, but I want to make sure the off doesn't do anything. Turn off, Brandon. Okay. So now turn on. Turn on, Brandon. Okay. All right, so it's working. 